All right, we have here a Lenovo laptop. I'm going to do a live repair on this. Uh, the issue is Wi-Fi is disabled and the drivers are fine. It just happened all of a sudden. So I'm in the device manager and you can see currently this the hardware is not connected to the computer. Ha. Huh. That's so weird. Okay. So first thing I'd like to try is put the fo computer in airplane mode using the function keys that you have on your computer. So function key F7 doesn't do anything. Let's put it in airplane mode, airplane mode on, airplane mode off, still nothing. Change adapter options, no devices are found. How can this be? Right, so just to see um, now we need to rule out if it is a hardware problem or software problem so first one way we can do this is r reboot the computer into um, for example a Linux operating system so I'm gonna go into Ubuntu Ubuntu 19 can't remember if it has UEFI boot or not if it doesn't, we need to change the boot order to legacy mode. So I put in my USB and use the device and USB device and see if it, will, if it will show our USB. If not, we need to go into BIOS. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. Oh, it just picked up boot options. Uh, USB. Great. So this is a UEFI enabled USB, hence why I'm able to boot. Let's see if the Wi-Fi works here. Cool. So we're in and looking at the top right corner, you can see airplane mode on. So maybe it's stuck on airplane mode. F7 does nothing. Function F7 does nothing. So it looks like it is stuck on airplane mode. See if we can turn it off from Linux. And I'm not sure if it's off yet. Oh, it's, uh, what do we see? Bluetooth is on. And how about Wi-Fi? So Bluetooth is on, but not the uh, Wi-Fi. Very interesting. Now I'm going to shut down the computer and go into BIOS, see if it will tell me anything in there. Now this is a Lenovo Yoga. Yoga 730-131 KB. 13 IKB that is okay. Uh, normally these have a yeah a button here to get into BIOS. It's not really a button. It's actually a tiny little pinhole. You'll need to put something in there. So make sure the computer is turned off. And you can use one of the mobile phone eject tool press push it in there that's it power up and as you can see you get the Lenovo button menu and we want to go into BIOS setup let's have a look what do we see secure boot is already disabled interesting normally it is always enabled Okay, wireless LAN is enabled, as you can see, so that is not the issue. Secure boot is enabled here. How come it's not enabled there? This is interesting. Uh, that could be maybe password, I'm not sure. Right, so we don't see an issue with the BIOS, so we can rule that out. Now, next thing we need to do is do a physical inspection. 
of the motherboard. So this one uses torque type screws. Let's get to the bottom of this. So I'm using a Torx 6 screwdriver. Maybe we should have done a BIOS update before attempting this. Let's do a physical inspection. We may need to simply do a power cycle, meaning disconnect the battery, reset the BIOS, and hopefully the Wi-Fi chip gets picked up again. Okay, so what do we see here? That is a Wi-Fi chip there. Looks like it works with two devices in one, meaning the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are on one chip. Let's just remove it from its place. Come on. Wow, okay. I cannot, so I'm going to first disconnect the battery and press the power button for a few seconds. That should do it. There we go. That was a bit difficult. At least that came off. Okay. Now let's plug the antenna back again. Wow, that's a real pain. Come on, buddy. Doesn't want to go back in this position.
Nope, I don't see any damages. Great, that's in now. By the way, that's a real tech chip. And let's see what happens now. And Wi-Fi. And as you can see, we can see all our Wi-Fi is now. We're in business. Hopefully, yeah, you have the same issue, and this helps you fix the problem.